cover the ball. Good contact comes from covering the ball. Woo! Hey there, so good old golfers. Today I've got an excellent feel for you to start compressing the ball and hitting it really solid. All you gotta do is this simple feel in the golf swing. So what we're going to do is we're gonna feel like our head is going in front of the golf ball, taking the club back. You're probably thinking, Tom, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in the golf swing. Why would I do that? Well, here's why. Most golfers, most amateurs, are shifting in swayers. You're doing the hula dance. You're shifting your weight back this way. You're swaying off the golf ball. So all of your energy in the first part of your golf, golf swing is getting directed away from the target. So you're working on shifting and swaying. What does that mean for you in your downswing? It means you gotta shift back to the ball, which is timing. So if you're wondering why you're being really inconsistent, you're trying to time this shifting and swaying while you're trying to hit a ball at 0.1 milliseconds in time. It's just not gonna work. You're always going to struggle with being inconsistent. So the way we get consistent is we stop shifting and swaying and we start staying over the golf ball. But if you've never been over the ball, if you've never really compressed a golf shot, the feeling's gotta be getting your lead shoulder to go forward, getting your head to go forward to the target. So as you start feeling like you're going this way, what's going to happen to your golf swing is you're gonna look like a pro. You're gonna stay nice and centered over the ball, so your head's gonna stay in place. Your shoulders are gonna turn in a circle. They're not gonna sway back and through. Your lead shoulder is actually gonna go down, so you get a nice tilt, just like all the pros do in the golf swing. So I've got a handy dandy Home Depot alignment stick, best training aid in golf right here. And it's gonna help us to compress the snot out of the golf ball. Place it in the ground, vertical like this. I want you to stand about a foot or so away from it, maybe half of a golf club. This is a feel reference for us. I want to feel like I'm getting my lead shoulder and my head to move towards that stick, almost into the stick. So feel like I'm going into the stick. I hope it doesn't stab me through the ear. Into the stick, into the stick. So that feel is crazy. If you're a big shifter and swayer, you'll never shift and sway again if you do this feel. So I'm gonna hit a ball first doing the feel. Don't pay attention to the result. Look at what it does for your golf swing. So my feel is this, and I just topped it. But what did I do in the swing? I actually went towards the target too much. So if you're somebody who tilts enough, you don't need to do this. But if you're somebody who shifts and sways, this is going to be really helpful for you. So the idea is you're trying to feel what it's like to get in front of the ball, stay over the ball, cover the ball, cover the ball. Good contact comes from covering the ball. Woo, that was spicy. It's still going. I barely touched it. You see that compression? Ball first divot, ball first divot. Mashed potatoes with a side of gravy on the front. Boom and the butter's just falling off those mountains. By the way, while you're doing this, you should be videoing your swing to see if your head is staying in place, your shoulders are turning in a circle and not shifting off the ball. You want to focus on covering the ball. So everything must go this way. Your shoulders and your head must go towards the target to stay over the golf ball. Wow, did you hear that? Woo. Do that all day, that's so much fun. Then, what you should be doing after this is work it into your full swing. So you take away the training aid. After practicing that a lot, I mean a lot, you have been doing the shifting and swing for so long, you've never felt this before. So you should do it for a while. Don't just go to the driving range, try it five times, then go to the course and say it doesn't work. Now you go to the driving range, you video your swing, you check, are you here? Are you over the ball? Chest over the ball. Are you, are you, is your left shoulder going down? your head staying centered? Is there no more shifting and swaying in your swing? If I see shifting or swaying in your swing, I'm coming after you, I'm coming to get you. So you, after working on this quality reps, quality reps, quality reps, keep doing that, keep doing that. I'm gonna keep saying things on a loop until it gets into your mind because I want you to hit the ball so solid. Then we build it into the full swing. You just need to keep this feel going, same thing for the full swing, but video yourself because you don't want to get in the habit of going too far forward, you also don't want to get in the habit of shifting off the ball. We're really just trying to stay over the ball. So when I hit that shot right there, that was beautiful. I just stayed over the ball, but what did I feel? I felt my head going to the target, and I felt my lead shoulder going down. 
Crazy feels often lead to some of the greatest golf shots. So if it feels weird, you're actually doing it right because you're making a change. If it feels comfortable to you, then you haven't made a change. Now, for those of you practicing at home, take out your divot board and you can do this anywhere. It's my favorite practice tool right now. I'm really loving this thing because it tells me instantly where the golf club comes into the ground, where it comes in and makes contact with the ball. There's a nice little yellow dot on the center of the board and anytime I make contact on the board, it shows me a divot, also the path of the club. You don't need a ball, you just need a divot board and a club. So what I'm going to do is work on making sure as I stay over the ball that the divot will be on the front side of that yellow ball on the divot board. By the way, if you don't have one of these, check out the link in the description and comments below. Click on that. You can go get your very own divot board. So here we go. As you start moving your head and your shoulder towards the target, you should be seeing crispy contact with the divot board. You should be seeing divots on the front side of the golf ball right here. Because as you move your weight and your shoulder targetward, you're moving your point of contact for forward which is in front of the golf ball. The divot's in front side of the ball. That's what you want. Now, for most amateurs who struggle with inconsistent contact, you're going to hit behind the ball a lot. And that's due to your shifting and swaying. So if I shift and stay behind the ball and swing, I'd be lucky to catch this a little thin. So a lot of times what you see is a shift, you're off the ball, and then you gotta shift back to the target, and we see something like this. Oh boy, we need to run away from this. Hit behind the ball, there's the ball. You'll continue to be inconsistent as long as you shift and sway. But as long as you get yourself going this way, you will always hit the front side of the ball. And you don't have to try so hard. Stop working so hard. Make golf easier on yourself. Use this feel, use the divot board. Go to your driving range. You're feeling your head going down towards the target. You're also feeling your shoulder going down towards the target. But what you're seeing in the golf swing is this, for one, KFC contact, beautiful crispy contact. You're also seeing your head staying in place throughout the entire golf swing, a very centered golf swing just like the pros. So thanks for tuning in today, Segudo golfers. If you're looking for a way to play your best golf right now, check out my online golf school, Segudo.golf. For 10 bucks a month, you can play the best golf of your life. Life is far too short to play bad golf. You know that. Click here to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and here are two fantastic selections from the Segudo Golf Archives designed to help you play your best golf right now. I look forward to seeing you in a future episode, and have a rockin' week.